<laughs> Why are you here? On a certain day, a man went to the dentist. <laughs> he walked in and went to the doctor and he said, I am a moth. So the dentist looked at him and said, See, what you need is a psychiatrist, not a dentist. Moth has never any dental problems. You need a psychiatrist. The man said, I know it. Then he said, Why are you here? He said, Because the lights are on. The light is on, the moths will come. <laughs> That's why you're here. So, next thing is what am I supposed to do? Nothing. What does a moth do? just drawn by the light rushes into it and kills itself. That's what you're supposed to do. If uh, you're drawn to this, and if you're thinking from the satsang, what is the takeaway? No, this is not a fast food restaurant. There is no take, take away. So I have to do the take away, not you. <laughs> I take away. You don't take away anything. <laughs> Nothing to take away. This is give away. If you give away yourself, then there is something See this take away, give away, everything makes sense only when you are dealing with limited quantities of things. If you are handling only objects in your life, if your life is an objective process <laughs> and if your life is limited, to physical objects, giveaways, takeaways, all these things are meaningful. If your life has been touched by something that is not of the physical nature, then there is no giveaway, takeaway. If you give away everything that is physicality, then there is something that you can't take away, it takes you away. Oh, is this self-destruction? Is this some kind of a negative process? <clears throat> For someone, who is working in the wrong direction, for someone who is taking the whole life process, in a wrong direction, who is having a wrong perspective of life, who is looking at life through a small keyhole. For him, opening the door is going to be a dangerous process. But for one who is longing to be free, for him, opening the door is a benediction. If I open the door, will there be too many dangers? Yes, there will be. But I want you to know, if you close the door, maybe your neighbor cannot enter your house, maybe your friend cannot enter your house, but death still will through the keyhole. Even if you 
plug the keyhole it still does actually it comes quicker doors are closed <laughs> try and see just close these two doors and see it comes very quick <laughs> with doors closed death comes sooner not later if one does not know if one has not known even a moment of abandon in his life that all your life you have been your own security guard <laughs> if you are the watchman of the house not the lord of the house then an open door is a dangerous thing a locked door is always the best thing but if you are the lord of the house you wish to walk in and out as you feel only then you can claim to be the lord of the house right now this this body i have no nothing against the body i am not against the body but i am not for the body is either because what the body contains is very important keeping the body well becomes important because what the body embodies is sacred keeping the container in a certain level of sanctity becomes important let me see all of you just come out of your body for some time and then get back can you just come out for a while two minutes and get back can you no even if you are staying in a palace if you cannot come out that's called a prison that's not called a palace yes see i'm not asking that question yes or no anymore <laughs> things have changed <laughs> even if you're living in a palace if you cannot walk out and walk in by your choice you cannot call it a palace it's only a prison if you cannot come out of this by choice and get back by choice definitely it's a trap and a prison if you're not willing to open the doors because you're security conscious it's safe in search of safety all kinds of idiotic things have been done very life negative things very self destructive things now if i talk about the rivers it looks like i am talking negative once a little boy went up to his mother and said mama i want to go and swim in the river the mother said no way you are not going to get into the river that river is full of alligators hungry bloodthirsty alligators crocodiles don't you ever step into that river but mama every day in the morning daddy swims in that river river oh don't you worry about him he has an excellent insurance cover an insurance is not a safety for your life it's good for somebody it's very good for somebody who is wishing you to die <laughs> just uh, for some exigencies that may happen insurance but it is not a safety a closed door is not a safety to handle certain situations we close the door open the door but a door is a door only if it can close and open if it is always closed it's a wall isn't it a door is a door 
only if you can open and close by choice. If it's shut all the time, it is not a door. You cannot call it a door. So, uh, why am I here? What am I doing? <laughs> then the next question will be, Sadhguru, what, what is it that you're trying to tell us anyway? <laughs> I'm sure it's going to progress. <laughs> There's only one thing I'm trying to tell you. I'm just trying to beat my own drum but these boys are keeping all of them but to blow my own trumpet that I know, I know and I know, that's all I'm trying to say. I know, not only that I know, that which you want to know is also me that which can know is also me. This is the self trumpet that I am blowing all the time. Don't believe all the other words. All I am trying to say is, I know, I know, I know, I know. This is somebody blowing his own trumpet all the time. Day in and day out, every opportunity, whether people are willing or not willing, whether the situation is appropriate or not appropriate, same thing. That sounds hedonistic. It is. If there is no thirst in your heart, it is a horrible thing, somebody going on saying he knows. If there is a thirst in your heart, to hear this that somebody can clearly say that he knows is the greatest benediction if there is thirst in your heart. Hmm? Water is valuable only when you are thirsty, isn't it? If you are thirsty, a glass of water is divine. Otherwise, what is it? Doesn't mean anything. It's only when you are thirsty. <laughs>